What's up, people? I just want to make a quick video about some boots. Uh, the last pair of boots that I, the last pair of boots that I um that I had right before I bought these. I don't know if I heard me put the volume down. So, uh, what's up, people? I just want to make a quick video about the last pair of boots that I had before I bought these um, Survivor. These are the new boots that I bought. Herman Survivor boots. Um, I'm really a, uh, a Red Wing $250, $300 boot fan myself. But, uh, when I was in West Virginia, probably about three years ago, I needed some new boots. And I went into Walmart and bought these boots. These are uh, these are the Brahma Bay boots with the canvas upper. This right here. This is leather from down here down. And this, uh, this is canvas. A little bit of leather right there. But uh, these boots right here, they costed me, they ran me about 60 bucks, about $50, about 65 with tax and all. Man, you want some good boots, some good cheap boots that are going to take a beating? I recommend these. I mean, they're good cheap boots. These, I've been wearing these for three years. I wore. I bought these uh, when I was um, hauling uh, fertilizer in West Virginia. Wore them up there for a year. Then I wore them over here. Um, I wore them over here uh, when I moved back to when I came back to San Angelo, and I did a uh, carpentry work. So, and then I put them into the oil field. Holding frack sand. Um, these are some good boots. Damn good boots. I went to Walmart to get a, try to get another pair, but uh, they didn't have my size. Let me check it out. They're well built. Well, well built. No holes in the no holes in the steel toe. I finally wore these boots out. Not the leather. What wore out? I wore I wore a hole into the sole. These are gear welts, good gear, good gear welt, uh, good gear sole or welt, whatever you want to call it, so you can get these these uh, sole replaced. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to these boots. I probably use them for cutting grass or something, but I'm gonna see if I can take them to a boot boot shop and see if they could um see if they can replace the sole on them. But yeah, there's no, I mean everything's intact, you know. No separation. A lot of, the, I'm not gonna say a lot of them, but I, I've seen a lot of cheap boots that come apart right, either right here. This is a two piece right here where this yellow line is at. They'll start fall, coming apart right there, or uh, right here. The the sole will come apart, will separate from the boot itself. Not these. Not these right here. These are all in. I mean, look, leather's good. But I also care of these boots as far as um, like everything's good on them, man. I mean, as far as uh, a conditioner and um, waterproofing and stuff like that. But these are some damn good rub rugged boots here. Like I said, what I wore out on them was is the sole I recommend these boots to anybody um, if you're in my opinion those boots right there the Brahma Brahma Bay boots those are up there with um, with Red Wings and, and that's my boot of choice Red Wing and those are right up there with it I, like I said, I want to go buy another buy another set of uh, 
these Brahma Bay boots, but they didn't have my size. So I opted for the um, Herman Survivor boots. It's a Wellington boot. A Wellington boot, steel toe. That's all I wear, steel toe, because you never know. I mean, the only, the only boots that aren't that I don't wear their steel toe my cowboy boots. But, um, I don't know. See what they... See how they act. Put them into the oil field. Y'all know they're all frack sand, so... They won't be... I won't have too much strain on them. Too much stress on them. They slip on real easy. Slip on, slip off real easy. But I wanted to, the main purpose of this video is for those boots right there. These right here. These are the Brahma Bay boots. Good, cheap boots. 60 bucks, about $50.00. I'm gonna pay about sixty-five. Um, man, those boots are rugged. Uh, you can, they're they're good boots. I, I don't know if they'll. I, I don't know if they stand up to the, to the rigors of oil field. You know, um, a boot, a good boot for me lasts about a year. These have those have lasted me three years, and I've done a lot of work with them. Um, a lot of a lot of stressful work as far as for a boot. You know, I, I do remodeling, so you know a lot of up and down kneeling, crouching, and all that. But um, I do recommend that boot. You want a good cheap boot, a starter boot. You, you don't have the 200, 250, 300 dollars to spend on a on a on a Red Wing or whatever. Buy those. So like I said, they didn't have my size, so I bought these. The Herman Survivor, Herman Survivor's boot. See what this is about. See how they act. They're waterproof. And of course, every time I get a boot, I um, I rub them down with mink oil, I waterproof them some more. And just because they're waterproof, just because they're waterproof, guys, don't think you can stand, you know, stand in puddles of water for hours and hours at a time because that's they're. What they should say is that they're water repellent. I rub these down with uh, with the mink oil. This, I rub one down with mink oil. That's why one's. That's why that one's a little darker than this one. And mink oil is a uh, is a waterproofer. And I got this when I bought my uh, when I got my uh, patchwork boots. I was asking about this mink oil, and the guy just went ahead and threw it in, threw it in the bag. He said I could have it. Mink oil is not too expensive. This right here is five ninety five. You can get it for about uh, you can get some mink oil for about uh, about the same price. You know, start off at four bucks for a little can. And so mink oil, leather conditioner, and waterproofer. Where you really gotta concentrate, what you really gotta concentrate on when you're uh, rubbing your boots down with mink oil is where the stitches are at, where the stitches are at, and where the uh, the welt meets the boot, which is right in here. I hope these boots stand up to the to the rigors of uh, sand hauling. I mean, it's not real rigorous, but um, I just hope they last a good while. I paid a. Uh, 60 I think it was like 60 bucks for these boots and uh, with tax everything came out to like $73 but uh when you waterproof boot with mink coil you mainly rub, rub the uh you know you rub the whole thing rub the whole thing down but uh put a generous amount on the stitching because the stitching that's where the holes are at um and that's where your water will penetrate th to through the fastest and I just did the bo the upper the bottom 
the upper I'm just going to leave like that because, you know, I'm not going to be standing in water up past my ankles. I got some, uh, I got some water boots for that. But yeah, I, this is, uh, I try to look for some reviews on this boot and I found a few, but they're, they're new reviews. I mean, they're not, they're not, uh, reviews like I just did on, on that, those boots right there. Those are some damn good boots. Those are the um, Brahma Bay boots from Walmart. Fifty bucks. You can take them home for sixty bucks after taxes. But yeah, see how these how these act. Um, the leather, the uh, the welt on the boots, not too uh, the welt. I keep on saying welt. Um, the sole, it's like a hard, not too hard leather uh not too hard uh rubber and it's uh it is slip resi slip resistant oil resistant we show what it says right here waterproof steel toe oil resistant sole plate and their leather when you're in the oil field the main thing you want to pay attention to is uh, oil resistant and steel to steel toe, of course, and uh, waterproof is uh, whatever. Waterproof. Um, the only the only boots that are really waterproof are the rubber boots, or unless you got some that are like kind of composite material. But these these are waterproof up to a certain point, like if. Uh, walking through a puddle of water but not standing for pud in puddles of water for long periods at a time yeah we've been on standby for um about three or four weeks off and on and i just got a text text message a little while ago saying that um they got 20 loads 20 loads for for uh for us and I'm going to try to take off first thing in the morning. I haven't made any videos because I just, I don't know. But have my mind on other stuff. But uh, see what happens. Um, right now, the la okay, the last, been on standby now. For the last month, month or so, we've been on standby. Um. About, let's see when was it set last Tuesday last Tuesday I went to work they called me in said to do a pre-trip on the truck and go ahead and go get loaded I went to go get loaded my PO number was uh, had reached its uh, capacity the its load capacity so what it is I'll get further into depth about that on another video this this video is really mainly about the boots <clears throat> but uh for your po number you gotta they need so many tons for that a certain po number once once they uh once they reach that tonnage then you go on standby or you switch to another po number you know another well or whatever so um, they had reached their their tonnage for that PO number. I think I think PO number is product order number. I think I'm I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So I went to go get loaded. I tried to go get loaded first day out. Uh, I went to try to go get loaded. PO. I waited in line for three hours. I should have made a video. I want to make a video. Uh, um, waited in line for three hours. Come to find out that PO number had reached its capacity, its uh, tonnage capacity. They say, yeah, we won't be able to load you until uh, after midnight. Okay, so I waited till after midnight, talk, call my uh, dispatcher, let her know, hey, you know, uh, this PO number is maxed out. Uh, they won't be able, I won't be able to get it renewed till after midnight. Midnight came and went. Uh, she called me at uh, 3.45, told me to, that I can get loaded. I asked her. I said, so what's up, uh, new PO number or same one or what? She said, uh, I don't know. She said, I think it's the same one, but I'm going to email um, 
the company that we're working that we're hauling for. She said, I'm going to email them. And if it turns out to be a different number, then I will give you a call. I said, okay. So I went ahead and got in line. By the time I got to the, uh, right behind the, right behind the silo so I can load, um, an hour had passed. So I got back in line. Like I said, got back in line. I've been there an hour and, uh, try to punch in my information, PO number and all that. The guy said that that PO number wasn't working. I said, okay. So I drove right. I waited in line for an hour just to drive through the silo. Call my PO, my, uh, call my PO. <laughs> call my uh, dispatcher, let her know, hey, this PO number's not working. She said, okay, go on standby. I'll try to figure it out. She called the company that we're hauling for. And uh, they told us to go load in. Um, what were we loading now? That load, I was gonna, I was trying to load in, um, in uh, Dilly. I was trying to load in Dilly. Okay. Um, the company that we're hauling for, they told us to go ahead and load in um, in Carrizo Springs, which is about an hour, an hour and a half away from Dilly, Dilly, Texas. This is in East Texas. So uh, I got about halfway there. They called, said, "Go on standby." I said, man, I said, I, I'm already here. You know, I, I, I was halfway there, but I told her I was already there. I said, I'm already here. I'm in line. I said, I'm going to load. She said, okay, go ahead and load. And I told the uh, company that we're all for that, uh, that, that by the time I got, by the time you got your message, um, that you were in line already. So I, uh, I waited in line. I waited in line. I got loaded. I went to go on load. We're on standby. We're on standby for three days. Um, they decided to pay us, uh, they decided to pay us demerge. Um, so they decided to pay us, uh, demerge, uh, so, uh, per diem and, uh, all kinds of stuff just for being out there for three days. Cause everybody, it was, it was, it was a bad deal, man. Bad deal. And, uh, I waited out there three days. I had to come back to San Angelo to, uh, for a dentist appointment my second day back here in San Angelo and uh, yeah they've been on standby since then till probably about uh, five hours ago they told me that you know they had 20 loads they needed to get taken care of so um, I went to Walmart got me another pair of boots these these boots these those Brahmas they're still okay but um, I don't know maybe I can get another month out of them like I said only it only hold on the sole but uh, I needed some more some good some another set of boots another pair of boots so i bought these let's see what these act like see what they do but uh yeah once i get out there once we get out there and i get loaded and everything i'll let you i'll uh, make another video let y'all know what's going on but uh yeah this, this this video right here um a review on the um a review on the brahma bay boot with the uh, cast upper $60 $50 boot $60 after tax and everything damn good boot this is not one of those boots that you get what you pay for you can't beat this boot for the price like I said I wear uh, Red Wings $250 $300 boots and they last me about a year I've had these for three years already damn good boot check them out you get them, you buy them, you won't be, you'll be satisfied. I promise you. You will not have nothing bad to say about these boots. Like I said, everything's intact. The 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 sole is still intact. Look, look that, that that's the little bit of separation that it has. Just that you can't see it too well. Just that. Well, damn, I've had these boots for three years. Look, it's it's, it's all intact. I just wore them out. Busted a hole through them. Good year, soul. Brahma Bay Boot, Walmart, $50. This here is the Herman... Survivor boot. Let me show y'all this. This is the original color. 
Herman Survivor Boot. Survivors, Herman Survivors Boot. This boot cost uh, $65, about $73 with uh, tax and everything. I'll see what these boots act like, and I'll make a video uh, probably here in about three months. Make a video, and then three months after that, I'll make another video. But, yeah, if you want a damn good boot for the price, those Brahma, Brahma Bay boots with the um, canvas upper. All right, guys. Chuck you out later.